Oh, finally we're here. Does it have to be this fucking far away? <laughs> yeah, it does. If you want to stay out of sight, that is. Yeah, yeah, I know, smartass. It's a pain in the ass every time we don't have an automobile. <laughs> yeah, our family couldn't even handle rebuilding this estate. And you're complaining about an automobile? Germans would confiscate it anyway. The others should be there waiting. Uh, what were their nicknames again? Hell if I remember. I don't know any of these rookies personally. Okay. Looks like I'm climbing as usual. And I, as usual, am afraid of heights. But I'll find my own way through. See you, brother. Nice to see you all made it. Call me Youngster. Yeah, Link should be here in a second. Hi! Hey, Lynx! Are you lost? Attention, company! Step in line! What is this, a fucking picnic? You're here for training, not goddamn chit-chat. PFC Youngster, go turn the lights on for us! Yes, sir! Company, at ease! Corporal Lynx, what is this place? Ah. This is an old estate which belonged to our mother's family a long time ago. Burned down in the 20s. We didn't have the resources to rebuild it, so we resettled in Warsaw. So, you two are brothers? I thought that's pretty obvious. Maybe, but it's pretty dark here. Don't worry, you can handle it. We come here to train fairly often. Now, Command wants us to train some more rookies like you. working last time. PFC Youngster! Where the hell's that light? Shit. Um, maybe I'll try again? <laughs> Fucking work! <laughs> That's what you get when your younger brother is a genius. This is what you get when your genius brother is forced to work in a German factory since he was 14. Company, to the sandpit, march! Sweet Jesus, we have our work cut out with you. We've gathered here tonight to teach you greenhorns how to kill a man. You all took the oath, so you know this isn't a joke. We are the AK's armed wing. We're the ones who eliminate traitors, blackmailers, and the occupiers. I'll teach you how to kill silently if you're not a spineless wimp like my brother here. Fuck you. Men, step forward. Ladies, please stay behind. Now turn around. Now sneak behind him. <clears throat> Very quickly, grab the bastard's face with the palm of your hand to silence him. Oh shit, my bones. 
Quit your bitching, soldier. With your stronger forearm, <clears throat> you squeeze the fucker's throat with full force. The more he struggles, the faster he goes down. Look out! As you see, approaching an enemy from the front is a bad choice. Especially if you want to keep things quiet. Okay, turn back. <laughs> ah, you thought you'd avoid that, didn't you? <laughs> okay, you two get up. You, stay down. Oh, my damn neck. Relax, you'll live. Now, with our new friend here strangled, it's time to get rid of the body. Just grab him like a sack of potatoes, throw him over your shoulder and walk away. Don't worry about his well-being when you drop him. He's dead, remember? Oh, sir, let me just lie down for a minute, please. You two, turn around again. Oh, God, not again. It's good to learn how to quickly kill and carry the corpse away. I'll show you. See? Nice and smooth. <laughs> Again, start picking him up before he hits the ground, so he doesn't make a sound. Easy. You guys okay? Sir, I'm pretty far from okay. Good. Now get up and do what I've shown you! Ladies, come with me and I'll show you a more... subtle way to kill people. Under that tree, if you'll be so kind. Now, if you aren't a brainless brute like my brother, I can hear you. Agility is your best friend. The knife is probably the most accessible weapon, and it is deadly if used with the right skill. I don't like to get my hands dirty, so I'll turn this knife into a deadly projectile. Watch this. Huh. Lucky. You're not gonna make it again. The advantage of throwing a knife is that you can throw it quickly from around a corner. The disadvantage is that the target will probably scream so it's not as stealthy as you might have thought. Now your turn. Do it a hundred times and you'll start getting used to it. Rookies are doing rookie things, we'll hit the range. Hell yeah! You don't have to ask me twice! All right, let's get our guns. I bet you forgot where you've hidden yours, as usual. Nope, not this time. It's gotten rusty.
Let's show them how it's done. Nothing gets past us. Now, on three. Bored with your exercises? We'll play a game now. Company! Regroup at the mansion! PSC youngster, do the honors. Okay, people. This is a reverse hide and seek game. One of us will hide in the ruins and give a signal. The others will be taking their guard positions, not really looking for him. The objective is for him to leave the ruins unspotted, but he may cheat to draw others away with sounds. He just can't be spotted. Exactly. Now there's seven of us, so we start with two of us hiding and the other five acting as guards. When we win, we shuffle the teams. All clear? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Wait here for a signal!
Throughout the following months, Warsaw lived under constant tension. Thanks to illegal radio receivers, people learned about the Wehrmacht's failures. We heard of the Great Soviet Offensive, the Bagration Operation, which devoured the German armies, one by one, and was headed towards Warsaw. We saw them retreating in their thousands through our city, defeated. In the resistance, we all waited for the order to fight the occupant openly. A year before, the Jews from the ghetto did that, although they stood no chance. We, the young, understood them well enough. Better to die with dignity than live under the German scourge and wait for death. From our point of view, open conflict was a chance to get revenge for the years of enslavement and humiliation. We wanted to show the Allies what we were capable of in order not to get subjugated by the incoming Reds. The Germans suspected that. They weren't blind. My brother and I were placed in the Radoslav group. Not many of our colleagues from our previous unit had survived up until that day. The most important day of all. The first of 63. All right, youngster, time to go. Yeah. The shit I just stopped in Jalabash. Well, we can forget about the element of surprise. Let's take the stuff from the shed and head over to the rally point. On tech! How many times do I have to tell you not to smoke at home? We're going, Mother. This is the day. You reckless morons! You'll get yourselves killed! You're the only ones I have left! Calm down, Mother. You know how it works. We have orders. I know! But nowadays it's different and I don't like it! Don't panic. And stay at home. There'll be a shootout at some point. Take care of your brother, Ontek. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Vyeshu. What are your thoughts on drinking at 3 p.m.? Hell yeah! <laughs> it's a good thing! The weather is lovely. 